Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I'm here with the latest update for The Simpsons Tapped Out. Today we're here in November for the Treehouse of Horror Act 3 update. This is part one for that, and if you guys want to see the previous acts, please do check those out on my channel. Without further ado, we are here, like I said, with Act 3, and uh, Halloween was actually yesterday, and we are now in November. So the whole Halloween thing is a little played out. It's time for Christmas, I think everybody else can agree on that. But uh, nonetheless, Halloween is here, and uh, we're going to play through it. So let's go and see what Lisa has got to say. With all this tension between cast members, I'm suspending filming indefinitely. Art is supposed to bring people together, except for the art that tears people apart, like the drawings of religious figures or any Marmaduke cartoon. Hollywood monster or human, we all need to join together and save this town. Since this is a publicity-funded project, production rights now revert to the government, and we will continue the film. Lisa will be replaced by our own Chief Wiggum. I choose him because he has the same silhouette as Hitchcock. Cool, can I use one of those bullhorn thingies? So, we need to make Wiggum figure out how to use the bullhorn thingy. Call call 911. Okay. okay. So Wiggum's gonna go and figure out how to use the bullhorn thingy. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> call call 911. I'm envisioning a lone hero, human. Early 30s, facing an angry monster horde. His guns shoot stars and stripes of red, white, and blue, and the monsters run away like they're spineless cowards they are. We are only using the monsters that don't have spines. At the end, we have an art card reading Quimby for re-election. We have paid extra to make sure it's all spelled correctly. This is terrible. You're just using, ho using hollow patriotism and fear of people who are different to manipulate voters into supporting a political campaign. That's exactly what we're doing. The movie is called Hollow Patriotic Manipulation for a reason. Make Wiggum draw storyboards in crayon. Okay. Quimby's got a point about all these monsters in town. They don't gamble. They don't drink. What kind of freaks are they? Yeah, we should build a wall to keep them out. Plus, think of the jobs it would create for the local wall builders union. Oh, come on, guys. They aren't so bad. The giant lizard guy helped Bart get his kite out of the tree, and his fire breath cooked me a steak just the way I like it. Burnt and smelling like lizard. So we need to make Homer argue pro-monster views. What the? Well, it's better than my hey. normal job. Oh, God. This is sounding a little bit political. Okay. Quimby. People of Springfield, our movie, and non- a, Sorry, an American-American- an American America for non-monster Americans is done and will be shown tonight at Town Hall. Yeah, I'll be there in a very impressionable mood. Me too, bring the popcorn and the one-sidedness. Join us after the film for an angry riot sponsored by Buzz Cola. So we need to make angry Springfielders get ready to rally. Okay. Time to slay! Okay. So. Oh, yeah. I'll show some Texas-style kung fu! Okay, so some of those guys are going to get ready to rally, and the strange thing about it is half of those Springfielders are monsters themselves, so kind of ironic. <clears throat> monster, 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 monster. Yeah, so it's pretty funny. How can a ghost even riot? Makes no sense. But anyway, <clears throat> these uh, strange people are done rioting. Jeez, shut up. I've had it with these bigots. We offer to help them fight, and they turn against us. Let's kill everyone. I know it's early for them to die, but I can fix the paperwork afterwards. Wait a minute, guys. For once, killing isn't the answer. Most of us are just regular people who love beer, TV, and beer commercials on TV. What we really need is your help. I guess you're right, Homer. Besides, if I kill everyone now, there's there goes my job security, and I need this. I'm still paying off my student loans. Make Homer get the monsters to be happy drunk. Hey. Better than my normal job. So Homer's gonna go and make the monsters happy drunk. Okay. I can't let Mayor Quimby get away with this. He's poisoning the town with paranoia. His movie is making things so much worse, not to mention the obscene number of producers in the credits. If there's anything I've learned from my foray into the world of independent films, it's this. There's nothing you can fix in editing aside from the remake 
of Ben Hur, but still editing. So we make filmmaker Lisa recut Quimby's movie. Okay, where'd you go, Lisa? So Lisa's gonna go and recut Quimby's film. Okay. Witness a tale of uh, American heroism and monster terror. Enough talking, I want to be mad, made angry already. Of course, settle into your seats so you can be shocked right out of them. Roll the film or press play on the DVD machine, whatever they do nowadays. So we're going to make Wiggum play Lisa's pro-monster documentary. Oh, yeah. Eight hours. So it's a pretty long documentary. Now that I've seen Hollywood monsters as people, it's kind of hard to still be mad. I know, I looked down at my fist and it was unballed. Unballed! I guess we owe you monsters an apology, especially about that wall stuff, which kind of sounded far-fetched to begin with. I mean, wasn't Mexico supposed to pay for it? Oh, God. Forget about it. It was this, It was afternoon. It was a different time. At least we can all agree those feral monsters needed to be exterminated. Like I always said, we're stronger together now that we're okay with you guys, or I hope I can vote on count on your vote, or multiple votes. <clears throat> Sorry. Homer is now permanently available to fight giant monsters. Okay. I guess, is that it? Okay. The funny thing, guys, is that Quimby is actually a Democrat, so for him to have views like that is kind of far-fetched because he's not a Republican. But anyway... I believe that that is it for the Act 3 quest line. Uh, it kind of had a, a strange and anticlimactic ending, ending, if I can say so myself. Um, nonetheless, it is over. I'm just trying to find my area where I was planning to build everything. Yeah, it is over, guys. So um, I guess that's it for the main quest line. I will continue off for the Act 3 Part 2 video as soon as this video right here has finished uploading. Um, with that, we will go and we will purchase the remainder of the items from the store, which are Nightmare Willie and his cousin, um, Grave, Digger, Grave Digger Billy and the cemetery plot. And we will also go through and collect the rest, oh, the rest of the Act 3 prizes, which look pretty cool, including one character, two new buildings, a decoration, and a costume, which are pretty cool. So... Once we do that, the update is officially over. We have gotten all the content and the quest line, and then after that, all there is to do is the takedown update, which will bring NPC, non-playable character versions of the feral monsters and the giant worms. <clears throat> so until the next video, guys, I will see you soon. Like I said, stay tuned for part two where I show off the content. Thank you, guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace.